Close your eyes and imagine you're a French soldier in 1799, wandering through the dusty streets of Rosetta, Egypt. The hot sun beats down on your uniform, making it stick to your skin like a second layer. You feel like a detective in the desert, searching for clues hidden in the sands. Each step you take is like opening a new chapter in an ancient mystery book. The town of Rosetta is buzzing with activity as your fellow soldiers explore the unknown, but you... You've stumbled upon a treasure that no one can fully comprehend yet. It's a big black stone covered in strange symbols that look like they belong in a different world. The stone is a riddle, a conundrum that beckons you to unravel its secrets. As you reach out to touch the stone, you can feel its rough surface beneath your fingers. It's like touching history itself, a connection to a world that vanished long ago. The inscriptions on the stone are like whispers from the past, Voices you can't quite understand. You and your fellow soldiers huddle around, gazing at the mysterious symbols with a mixture of awe and confusion. It's as if you've stumbled upon a locked chest and the key to unlocking it is right before your eyes. The air is filled with a sense of anticipation, a feeling that you're standing on the threshold of something extraordinary. Little do you know that this stone, the Rosetta Stone, will change the course of history and allow future civilizations to unlock the secrets of an ancient civilization. Our story begins in the year 1799, when a group of French soldiers, led by a leader named Napoleon Bonaparte, came to Egypt. They were not on vacation, but on a mission to learn about the mysteries of this ancient land. During their journey, they stumbled upon a small town called Rosetta, and that's where our adventure begins. In Rosetta, the French soldiers found something extraordinary. They discovered a big black stone with writing on it, and it was unlike any writing they'd ever seen before. The stone was like a message from the past, but it was written in three different scripts. Greek, Egyptian hieroglyphs, and a cursive script called Demotic. The soldiers were puzzled because they couldn't read what the stone said. It was like trying to solve a riddle without knowing the answers. They knew the stone was important, but they had no idea how to unlock its secrets. The stone was taken to a man named Pierre-Francois Bouchard, who was a French engineer. He realized that the stone might be the key to understanding ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. This was the writing system of the pharaohs and the people who built the pyramids. He studied the stone and made copies of the inscriptions, hoping to find a way to decipher it. Meanwhile, in a faraway land called England, a brilliant scientist and scholar named Thomas Young heard about this mysterious stone. He decided to take on the challenge of deciphering it. Dr. Young was like a detective who loved solving puzzles, and he was determined to crack the code of the Rosetta Stone. Dr. Young worked hard and carefully examined the Greek script on the stone. He noticed that the Greek text mentioned the name of a king, Ptolemy. This was a clue that the other scripts might also be talking about the same thing. With this insight, Dr. Young made a groundbreaking discovery. He realized that the Egyptian hieroglyphs and the Demotic script were not just decorative symbols, but a form of writing. He figured out that some of the hieroglyphs represented the sounds of Egyptian words, while others stood for whole words or ideas. This was a huge step towards unlocking the mystery of the ancient Egyptian language. But the puzzle wasn't fully solved yet. The final piece of the puzzle came from an unexpected source. A French scholar named Jean-Francois Champion, who was just a boy when the stone was discovered, grew up fascinated by ancient languages. He studied the work of Thomas Young and took it to the next level. Champion dedicated his life to learning ancient languages, especially Egyptian hieroglyphs. He traveled to Egypt to study the ancient texts and inscriptions on monuments. He was like a detective with a magnifying glass looking for clues. After many years of hard work, Champion made an incredible breakthrough. He discovered that the hieroglyphs were not just for sounds and words, but they could also represent objects, ideas, and even names. He successfully deciphered the hieroglyphs, and with this amazing achievement, he unlocked the secrets of the Rosetta Stone. Now you might wonder, why is the Rosetta Stone so important? Let me explain it in simple terms. The Rosetta Stone is like a magical key that opened the door to the past, it allowed us to understand the ancient Egyptian language and the stories written by the people who lived thousands of years ago. 
This discovery gave us a glimpse into the history, culture, and beliefs of the ancient Egyptians, who built the magnificent pyramids and created a rich civilization. Thanks to the Rosetta Stone, we can read their writings and learn about the pharaohs, their gods, and their daily lives. It's like a time machine that helps us travel back into history. It's also important because it helped us understand the ancient world even better. By comparing the Greek text on the stone with the Egyptian hieroglyphs and Demotic script, we were able to unlock the meanings of other ancient Egyptian texts and inscriptions. This knowledge has allowed us to uncover more secrets of this ancient civilization. In fact, without the Rosetta Stone, we might still be in the dark about many aspects of ancient Egypt. It's like having the first page of a book that was missing for centuries. Thanks to the Rosetta Stone, we could finally read the whole story. The Rosetta Stone is not just a piece of rock. It's a priceless treasure that has enriched our understanding. Today it's on display in the British Museum in London, where people from all over the world can see and admire it. So the next time you look at a book, remember that the Rosetta Stone is like the first page of a fascinating story about an incredible civilization. It's a reminder that we can solve even the most challenging puzzles with hard work and dedication. Just like the brave explorers and scholars who unraveled the secrets of the Rosetta Stone, we can all be like detectives, solving the mysteries of the past and the future. Who knows what other treasures are waiting to be discovered? We hope you enjoy this episode. Be sure to tune in next Monday for a new episode.